brought to you through the regional support of First Five Fresno County, First Five Tulare County, and First Five Madera County. Because it's all about the kids. One San Joaquin Valley mom says core blood saved her son's life. Her little one faced a life-threatening blood disease, but a transplant turned his life around. Claudia Solisacala has more. Titus Chang was diagnosed with aplastic anemia, a blood disorder that means your body stops producing enough new blood cells. For Titus, symptoms included fatigue, bruising, and severe nosebleeds. The diagnosis was grim. Without treatment, the disease was life-threatening. The expected time frame for him if he didn't have any type of match would be probably, give or take, 10 years, mm. you know, 10 years or less. So they did pretty much say that he needed it or else he would pass away. Originally they said he needed a bone marrow transplant, mm. but um, we didn't know if we would have a match because he was our only child at that time. Soon after, Sandy found out she was pregnant with her second son. And then they just, the doctors pretty much just stated that instead of doing any type of testings, let's just wait for this baby just to see if it was a match. Doctors told Sandy and her husband Lee it would be difficult to obtain bone marrow, which would have delayed the transplant. However, a transplant of their second child's cord blood would be a good alternative. The doctors had explained to us that um, the stem cells pretty much worked similar to like the bone marrow transplant where um, upon collecting the stem cells they would then go ahead and um, freeze it and then upon uh, the stem cells pretty much matching they would then go ahead and request for it from the lab making sure that it's still in the frozen state. Once it arrives to the hospital it will then be thawed and then be used so that way, um, you know, the stem cells um, won't pretty much die off. Doctors explained it was an experimental treatment, but for the Changs, it offered their family hope. We were a little um, scared in regards to allowing them to be able to do that, to, to use him, but I mean, we really didn't have any other choice. It was either we go ahead and let them try to, or we, we don't. And, so we decided to go for it. Sandy's son, Jedediah, now four years old, was the donor. His stem cells were a perfect match for Titus. The Cord Blood Registry, a private cord blood banking company, covered the cost of the collection and freezing of the cord blood. CBR, they were the one who, um, you know, were willing to go ahead and help us to be able to store for, um, for free all the expenses and everything to be um, waived. And so that, you know, that really helped out a lot. The transplant took place at UC Davis Hospital in Sacramento in December of 2004, after Titus underwent chemotherapy to treat his damaged immune system. The transplant was followed by a few transfusions. Doctors say the cord blood transplant returned Titus's life to normal, and he will no longer need transfusions. There's no type of complications or problems or anything, so it worked really, really well, which, you know, we're really happy that everything went through okay. These days, Sandy tells us Titus goes back to the hospital for okay, yearly checkups, but is otherwise happy and healthy. Brought to you through the regional support of First Five Fresno County, First Five Tulare County, and First Five Madera County. Because it's all about the kids. <laughs>